<laughs> hey guys. Uh, lightning spirits but the eight here. Okay, that was stupid. Welcome back to more let's play that. Stop trying to be cold. Welcome back to more let's play uh what is this game? Twilight Princess! Yes, fail, fail. Anyway, in the last episode we got up here to the snow peak area. And in this episode we are following the reef fish scent. To the top of the mountain because I want to be the first to get to the top of the mountain. All right, bang your head off of this. Don't ask why. Why? Because I'm going to tell you why. Yeah. If you bang your head off, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm so freaking random in this episode. First, I try to act cold because I'm clearly not. I'm actually extremely hot right now. Oh, look, a uh, thing. Alright, uh, yes, this is a helling stand. Up, middle, down, middle, down, up, middle, down, okay. Up, middle, down, down. Ah, fail. Uh, let's listen to that one more time. Oh, okay, yeah, that's right, middle. Down, up, middle, down, okay. Up, middle, down. I screwed something up there. Up, middle, down, middle. Oh, up. Or no, down, up, middle, down. Okay. <sighs> Hope I have it this time. Perfect! Okay, I don't know what this song is. I've heard people say that it's the Ballad of the Gales, but I don't remember. I seriously don't remember. Anyway, all I know is that it's the sixth hidden skill in the game, so. Six out of seven, I believe. Yeah, I believe this is the Ballad of the Gales, according to many, many websites that I've seen. It's something from Wind Waker, that much I know. Because I know this has thrown a lot of people off. Either way, I like it. Okay, yeah, that was interesting. So, the teachings of all past to you, blah 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 blah. Alright, well at least he's going to a place where we can get to fairly easily. In fact, we can get this in this episode if we work fast enough. Okay, he try he teleported to Kakariko Graveyard. Perfect. Alright, so if we turn our senses back on, even though the, you know, Blizzard isn't exactly doing anything anymore. We find this path that we can dig through. So yes, we are going to get that hidden skill in this part. In fact, we should get to the temple in this part too. I mean, not inside the temple, because I have a uh, co-commentator that I would like to co-commentate with for the entirety of the temple. So, yeah. Anyway, climbing up the stairs. Or not the stairs ladder. I guess I could have claw shot it, couldn't I? I could have claw shot it under those vines. What a fail. What a frail I can be. Okay, ice keys. Uh, if those things touch you, they will freeze you. Oh yeah, just so you know. Now that we have the magic armor and we've done all the side quest things that involve money. Yeah, money's basically useless now. So the prize that we get for the golden bugs isn't exactly great, but... Oh well, you still kind of have to get the golden bugs in order to complete those side quests. Holy crap, those are huge fingerprints, or handprints. Hello, where are we now? I see a tree? Is that a tree? That is definitely a tree. Oh, look, ice keys. Oh no, not here. Not again. Ah, come on, you guys don't give me a break, too. And plus, we have all these ice keys to deal with, and ah, oh, jeez. Hmm. Their shadow beings look kind of frosty, if you ask me. Alright, that one got- ah, no, 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 no. Okay, that was gonna wake them up, but that's okay. We can just get out of here. And take care of this one. Oh, wow. Yeah, both of you die. 
mean, seriously, the way those things dropped out of that portal, they look like frostbitten or something. And oh, look at that. Magically, the blizzard clears and we see a tree. However, we're not going to talk to the... What the heck is that? He's holding a fish. Oh, we're not going to talk to him yet. Why? Because we have a warp point, which means we can get back to the snow peak top. Or we're going to... What we're going to do instead is head out to Kakarika Village and get that hidden skill. These hidden skills are for the win. For those of you that don't know what for the win is, I really don't know what it means either. It just means like something's epic and awesome and cool and... Yeah, it's internet wingo, what do you expect? Like LOL, cool. Fine. If I go to the... Link, stop it. Fine. If I go to the graveyard... Yeah, this is what happens if you enter Kakariko as a beast. However, since we don't have to go into any shops, I mean, you could go to Barnes' shop and get the bomb chew if you wanted, but I'm not going to waste my time. Or my money. Yeah, considering I have one whole ruby. I don't want to waste that, man. Ah, uh, but yeah. Yep, here's the graveyard. I believe you move this tombstone, you get a postal. But I'm not 100% sure. What the heck is here? Oh, well, we can't get under there, can we? So, yeah. Alright. Oh, look, there's the golden wolf. Let's transform. There he is. Oh, you're an angry puppy. Oh, crap. Don't shoot my head off. Again. Seriously, I never understood why he, like, leapt at you like that. It kind of confuses me. I guess he bites your head to take you to this weird realm thing. Anyway, we meet again. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, I do. Mortal draw. Yeah, come at me. So, like I said, put away your sword and boom! Without locking on. That's how you do the mortal draw. Now we're going to get the jump strike. Okay, this one's okay. The last hidden skill in the game you won't be getting until right before the seventh dungeon, I believe. Alright, yeah, basic jump attack. Basically what you do is, when you perform a jump attack, just hold A. Until it, like, sparkles like that. Or until you hear that noise. See, and you can also use it to attack multiple enemies at once, but you kind of need to get away from them to do so. And release. Boom. Just like that. This one's kind of useful, but I don't see myself using it all that much. It kind of messes me up more than it helps. It's like, right as I'm about to hit the enemy, it like attacks me and then throws me back, so... I don't find it that useful, but hey, you might, so... I recommend picking it up, because it can be helpful in certain situations. Alright. Kind of weird. Done here. Why am I putting out the claw? Why am I getting out the claw shot? Alright, let's warp. And head up to... No, 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 no. I almost went to Zora's domain. Head up to the Snow Peak top. And there we will meet the... Well, I don't know what we'll meet. We'll meet some dude with a fish. Oh, look, the ice keys are back. Nope, no, 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 no. Just gonna say, for some odd reason, I can bite them without getting frozen. Okay. Alright. Uh, let's transform into a human so we d Wow, that was great enemy placement. The, the dead keys was like right in front of me as I was transforming. But let's sneak up on them as a human so we don't freak them out. Whoa, holy crap, who is that? Oh, whoa! I heard ruckus and oh, just a human. Oh god, I can't do this voice that often. <clears throat> I see humans not often. Ah, oh. why humans come to snows? You on spiritual journey? You look for a true self? Uh, how about no? Yeah, I don't think I can keep up that voice. Oh, you look for a mirror in such faraway place. Oh, but you make good climb, and you're lucky to meet me. I found shiny mirror piece. Same mirror you look for, huh? <laughs> yes, this is a, a this is a very cool Yeti person. I love him. And his wife. They're probably the coolest characters in the game, in my opinion. Oh you come to house and see yourself. I caught fish 
<clears throat> excuse me. I caught fish. I make you a hot meal, at least. My house not very far away. Or my house far away. We slide there. Do like me. Come. <laughs> Boom. Punch a tree. Falcon, punch that tree. I don't know how this guy keeps up his balance, but jeez, that is awesome. But anyway, we have to do like he did and roll into the tree to get our sled. And then we have to sled down the mountain. Sliding down the slope, literally. Boom. Uh, but you have to make sure that you don't jump off. I'm pretty good at this mini game, but I'm not that great. Uh, it gets very hard later. Alright, press A to crouch. Uh, A to then release, A to jump. Okay, yeah, I'm kind of having some troubles here. Uh, hold forward on the control stick to keep moving. Of course, it'll move automatically anyway. Why is there no music here? This is weird. All I hear is howling in the background. Well, the mini game that we do for this later to get a hard piece is a lot cooler because there's epic, epic sliding music. However, we have to do it twice, so it gets kind of difficult. Like the first thing, like the first one is exactly like this, but the second one, oh my god, is so horrible. It takes me like multiple tries to get that dang hard piece. But oh well. You know what? I'm gonna try for this. This here is a shortcut. Uh, you have to use it to get that heart piece that I'm talking about. Uh, no, not gonna make it. Nose, nose, no! Okay, we're not gonna do that again. But anyway, enough about. S ah, no, 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 no! Why did I jump? Why did I jump? Why did I jump? Why did I jump? Why? <laughs> Why? Oh god. Um. Sledding fail? Okay, we're not gonna take that shortcut, are we? Watch, I say that now. Oh yeah, you can spin attack on this thing and, like, be epic. Yeah, this thing's kinda hard to control, and I'm not liking that there's no music here. It's getting annoying. Give me music! Give me some dandy music! Some fine dandy music! And make it snazzy as well! Tilt the keys. Yeah, you can swing your sword like this, and it's just all epic, and yeah. Oh, uh, the powers of the Wii. Yeah, you can jump on those... Ow. You can jump on those trees, and magically our sled comes back. You can jump on those trees and get some extra rupees, like up to 100, I believe. How many times do I have to say we're not going to take that uh, shortcut, and we take the shortcut? We would have been there by now if we hadn't taken the shortcut. Yep! Alright, that's it. Enough fooling around. Jump! Can we make it there in two minutes? Uh, if there's an abrupt end, you know why. So maybe I'll start saying my goodbyes now, so. Uh, you know what? I'll wait till we get a little bit lower. Yeah, I'm gonna have to cut something out. I'll cut out one of the fails. So this is my fourth attempt here. I'm not going to take that shortcut now. I'll wait and take the shortcut when we absolutely have to. Don't you worry your pretty little heads. I'm not going to do that stupid, stupid shortcut again. Out. <laughs> However, I will do something stupid like that. And that. Get out of my way. Please, sledding on dead trees. This is fail. This has fail written all over it. Alright. So, we're kind of steady here. But anyway, I guess I'll start saying my... Well, wait. Maybe I should wait until I make this jump. Ah, stay away. Yeah, I, I, miss, I miss the sledding music. Where is it? I don't like this eerie, eerie quiet. I mean, I like the eerie quietness in the background that the mu music is subtly playing, but eh. I kind of like the sledding music better. But anyway, in the next episode, because it looks like we have this in the bag, we will head into the next temple, which is the Snow Peak Ruins, with a special guest, who is another female LP here. Just so you know. So yeah, I know it's not Stormy again. Here? What's with this guy? He's not- he's got a nice place for a beast, man. Well, who could ever love a beast? No, I'm kidding. 
Uh, Beauty and the Beast from the Wind. But anyway, in the next episode, we will enter Snow Peak Ruins with a special guest co-commentator. Uh, I'm not going to tell you who she is, but you probably know who she is. Uh, but anyway, in the next episode, we will do just that. So this is Lightning Spirit 78 signing out. If you like this part, please subscribe. Oh yeah, and if you go up there, there's a postal. Anyway, see you guys next time. Bye-bye.